Good morning, uh, this is Dale Owens. Um, it's July 11th, about 11.30 a.m. I am uh, going to take a little video here of our 1995 Airstream Excella that uh, we were looking to sell. Uh, kind of walk around here a little bit. Hopefully it'll stay in focus. Um, we love the camper. It's not about the camper. We just uh, not into uh, camping overnight, and it doesn't meet our long-term long needs. So uh, we're looking to sell. So I'm continuing around here. You can see there's one little dent right here in the back. Uh, the exterior is uh, pretty standard for uh, an Airstream. You can see there's a a bin there. There's one on the other side. Um, there's some smaller storage areas. Back here is uh, a pull-out uh, drawer. I've got it kind of sealed. We never use it. Don't really need it. The back side looks pretty good. You can see the umbrella um, awning windows, are, which are, are nice. Uh, if it's raining, you can leave the windows open. And a little view of uh, the front comes with um, the weight distribution hitch. So as you can tell, I'm inside now. I'm in the uh, back bedroom looking forward. It's kind of cramped, so it's hard to take really good pictures. I'll do the best I can. Uh, has a jack knife couch that folds down into a bed and then there's a table on that side that folds up and I'll take a picture of those and one on the, a smaller one on this side looking around uh, it's the lighted vent that uh, I installed you can see the lattice on the uh, ceiling and if you need explanation contact me about that looking forward uh, there's the TV, new microwave, original refrigerator, freezer, and uh, a small but adequate kitchen. And now I'm looking back towards the back. I pulled out the uh, pantry, uh, plenty of storage there. There's a couple bins up the top. And there's storage underneath the sink. Um, for whatever reason, there's no drawers for uh, silverware and such, so we added that plastic uh, unit that you see there. So the bathroom, uh, pretty standard bathroom. Um, shower small. What we do is we take our shower and then we have a curtain that we put here in the hallway and we step out to dry off and such. Very hard to take pictures in this uh, cramped quarters. The toilet was new and just as we bought it. The previous owners, there's storage in there. The mirror opens out to uh, uh, make a medicine cabinet. Of course, Closes. Looking towards the uh, back again, I'm trying to show um, there is a accordion door to separate the bad bedroom. And then this is the uh, bed. I didn't make the bed for the video, but you get the point. There's storage bins up there, storage across the back. There's two door closet here. Four drawers, a bin up on top, and then there's a cabinet there in the very back we use for laundry. It's really hard to take a picture of this, but this is 
uh, the bins are the bins underneath the bed in the back there are doors that go on there I took them off but they are available if you want to put them back on it's easier to get things in and out without the doors on there so here's a shot again back uh, looking towards the living room you can see the uh, tables are out in the out position and you can also take this and fold it up so you have two smaller sections to uh, to dine. So this is with uh, the couch with the drawer pulled out. As you can see it's a pretty good size. Uh, we keep our pans and stuff in there. And then up above there you can see is uh, two overhead bins. So and finally this is with the couch uh, uh, down into the sleeping position. Um, it's not a lot of space but it could sleep two small people or one very lar large person very uh, comfortably and on both sides underneath the armrest is a little more storage area. Um, I want you to take note of the curtains. Uh, my wife Kathy uh, made all new curtains and she, I think she did a, a wonderful job. Uh, I hope you like the video. I hope it turns out well. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.